Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw Euler's line on a given triangle. Euler's line on a triangle is a special line which passes through several of the notable points of a triangle, such as the orthocenter point, the circumcenter point, and the centroid point of a triangle. So now, to locate this line, firstly we are going to locate these three notable points of this given triangle. We are going to start with the circumcenter point by working out the perpendicular bisectors of sides A, B and C. So to do this, taking our compass and setting it on vertex B and setting a radius slightly longer than half the line segment BC, we are going to scribe an arc above and below the line. as can be seen here. And now with the same radius and setting our compass on vertex C, we're going to scribe another arc above and below the line and it will intersect our previously drawn arc at two points. As can be seen here. And now we're going to draw a line through these two, two intersections. And this is the perpendicular bisector of the base of the triangle BC. So we have our first perpendicular bisector and now we're going to repeat this process with the side AC. So again, setting our compass slightly longer than half the length of the side AC, we're going to scribe an arc both sides of the line as shown here. And again, with the same radius and setting our compass on vertex A, we scribe another arc where it intersects our previously drawn arc at two points. As shown here. And now we are going to draw the perpendicular bisector of the side AC through the intersection points of the two arcs. So where these perpendicular bisectors intersect is our circumcenter point. But just to make sure that we're working with precision and accuracy, again, we're going to work out the perpendicular bisector of the third side, AB, using the same process. And if we've been working with precision and accuracy, the perpendicular bisector should cut the other two bi perpendicular bisectors at exactly the same point, which is the circumcenter point. Again here, as you can see, using the same method, setting a compass slightly longer than the line segment AB, and scribing two arcs. Where the two arcs intersect, we will draw a line, the perpendicular bisector, and as you can see, it will cut the previous two perpendicular bisectors at exactly the same point. And this point is the circumcenter point, which we are going to call point D.
Okay, so to continue, we are going to locate the centroid point by joining the midpoints of each side, which we have already determined by the perpendicular bisectors to their opposite vertex. These three lines are called the medians. But before we do that, we're going to draw the circumcircle of the triangle, setting our compass on circumcenter point D, and we draw a circle with radius DC or DA or DB, any of the three vertices. And now to continue, we're going to locate the center point by joining the midpoints of each side which we have already determined by the perpendicular bisectors to their opposite vertex. These lines are called the medians. So joining vertex B to the midpoint of the side AC and now joining midpoint of AB to the opposite vertex C. And where these three medians intersect, we are going to call point G as shown here. And again, if we've been working with precision and accuracy, they should pass through at exactly the same point. The final notable point that we are going to locate is the ortho center point. It is located at the intersection point of each of the three perpendicular heights of the three sides of the triangle. So to locate this or the center, we are going to work out the perpendicular heights of each side. Remember that the perpendicular height of a triangle is the line segment through a vertex and perpendicular to its opposite side. So here we have the first perpendicular height from vertex A perpendicular to the opposite side BC. And now again, we are going to draw a line from vertex B or excuse me, from vertex C, perpendicular to the opposite side, AB. As can be seen here. And finally, we're going to draw the perpendicular height from vertex B, perpendicular to its opposite side, AC. And where these three perpendicular heights intersect, we are going to call point H the orthocenter point. If we have been working with precision and accuracy, Euler's line should pass perfectly through these three notable points. And as you can see, we will draw it here with a red line. So one notable aspect of Euler's line is that the centroid point G is between the circumcenter point D and the autocenter point H. And the distance from the autocenter point H to the centroid point G is always double the distance from the center point G to the circumcenter point D. In other words, the distance from HG is always double the distance from GD. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Until the next time.